Hey, hey, it's day 38. It's Meg with my 5 and 35. <sighs> it's Thursday. Um, I'm feeling discouraged. You know how early in the week maybe I talked about Jeremy feeling discouraged about the house hunt? I guess it's my turn today. <laughs> I, I haven't given up. I really truly believe that right now buying a house is the best decision for our family. Um, I think it's a good investment for our retirement to build up towards something because Lord knows we don't put any money in our savings. <laughs> um, but we do pay rent on time. And so if we we're paying rent on time that went toward us, that might be a good thing. Um, but yeah, so we drove out to, to, to Tacoma ourselves. Um, I'm clearly in my car now, but, um, I met Jeremy at his job and we drove together I knew that the commute to Tacoma might not be doable. You know, it sucks to drive to Tacoma. My best friend lives in Tacoma, and I hate driving to her house. It's like a fucking hour to an hour and a half purgatory of just suck. And so I don't see her that often because I hate driving there. And I thought, well, if I live there, I'll be closer to her. I might see her more. But that means that we have to drive to Tacoma from our jobs every single day. <laughs> and um, I think the drive today proved we don't want to do that. So I kind of knew that as we drove over there, the commute might make or break our feelings on this house. And that's fine. Um, but there's smart ways to get to a property and then there's dumb ways. And I feel like Jeremy did not set himself up for success either. Um, he put in the address to his car's navigation system, which isn't live time. And so it doesn't take traffic into consideration and recommend the best route. So, you know, it recommended the most direct way, which isn't the fastest. And then he didn't get in the right exit lane. And so we actually got off the highway, which was standstill. So maybe that was a good thing. And we kind of did some back roads through the country. And I actually really enjoyed that. I like driving or I like cruising in a car and not having to drive. So for me, it wasn't that terrible until we got back into the need to cross over into the city traffic. And then we sat for a while and I could just feel the vibe from Jeremy was very grumpy. Like he wouldn't be as pleasant a person every night when we returned home to each other if he had to drive that commute. And that's not the marriage I'm looking for. So, um, the house had its problems. It was old. It needed updating. Um, we could have won it, like we could have afforded to outbid the top bid and had it, but it would need work put into it, which that doesn't scare me too much. But as we drove home, um, back to get my car and his job, you know, he was saying, I think that if we lived in Tacoma and we had a house that needed that much work, I would resent the house. I would grow to hate it. That's not what I'm looking for. I, I want a happy marriage. I want our first home to be like this crazy adventure experiment where, you know, we both are all in for whatever the house requires of us. So we said, no, we passed. We didn't put a bed in, but I feel like that was a good learning experience for me. We did the Tacoma commute together. I saw how grumpy my husband was. I'm going to stop looking at houses in Tacoma. I don't feel ready to stop looking for houses in South Hill. And when we did that commute together, Jeremy was in a good mood. The whole, even though there was traffic, he was like, oh, these are my old stomping grounds. Look over there. Look over there. Here's a story. You know, so I'm going to still look at South Hill, even though that's pretty far south too. And we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know. Uh, when I was driving back, um, no, no, it was before I met up with Jeremy. I could see some text messages coming in on my phone. And, you know, I might have talked earlier about how we had to clear out my entire office area so they could replace the carpet. That was supposed to be happening right now. But I got a text from my boss around four. And he was like, I'm so fucking pissed off. The carpet didn't arrive. They're not installing it tonight like planned. Ah, you know, like that was the vibe of the text messages. But um, we cleared off five workstations for this carpet to be changed. And so it's very like, what am I walking into tomorrow? 
<laughs> so I'm excited for Friday because it's the weekend soon and maybe there'll be work job. Oh, God, I hope I sleep better this weekend. I need some good sleeps. All right. I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful week and it's coming to a close in a tidy manner. I'll see you tomorrow.